Now I'd like to show you some of what's new in Vanishing Point in Photoshop CS3. So with these two images selected in Bridge, let me open them up into Photoshop. You can see I have a photograph of a CD case, and I've got some artwork that's going to be the label of that CD. And so I want to take the artwork and wrap it around the case. So first I select all, and I copy. And now with the CD case selected, I go under Filter and choose Vanishing Point. As you probably remember from Photoshop CS2, Vanishing Point lets you edit in perspective by first defining planes. Now in CS2, if I were to create a plane that was linked to these others, I could only do it at a 90 degree increment. And you can see in the case of this artwork, that's really not that useful. So in CS3, we now have the angle control. And as I slide that angle control, you can see the plane rotates accordingly. If I want to do that a little more precisely, I can hold the Option or Alt key and simply rotate that. Now also in CS3, we've added the ability to wrap artwork around multiple planes at once. So when I hit Command V or Control V, I can simply drag this artwork onto a single plane and you can see it seamlessly wraps around. So now, instead of having to go back and forth to Vanishing Point multiple times, I can do all those operations in one step. And when I hit OK, the artwork is returned to Photoshop on its own layer. Now also new in Vanishing Point CS3 are a couple of features unique to Photoshop Extended. If I go back in the filter, you'll notice there's a new measure tool. So if I measure out a distance, let's say the top of this case, and I say, well, I know that in the real world, that's four inches long. Then when I measure other distances, Vanishing Point knows to correct the perspective for those. So based on that length, the height is 3.6 inches. And if I do the diagonal, you can see that's 5.3 inches. Also in CS3 Extended, I can choose to export my artwork as a 3D format or return it to Photoshop as a 3D layer.